How to test your apartment for radon. Hello and welcome to Video Jug. How many of you know how much radon is in your apartment? You can't see it, smell it, or taste it, but if you're being exposed to it, it can kill you. Radon is the second leading cause of lung cancer in America and is responsible for as many as 21,000 deaths per year. Radon is a radioactive gas that is released from uranium, a naturally occurring element in rocks and soil. It typically travels up into the home environment from the ground. According to the Environmental Protection Agency, at least one in every 15 residences has enough of this radioactive gas in it to be a danger. We'll show you how you can find out if your apartment is one of them. If you are living in a unit above the second floor of a multi-level building, good news, you are not at risk. Radon typically escapes into the atmosphere before penetrating a third story. For those of you living in a basement, first or second level unit, however, you will need one EPA approved short-term charcoal radon kit, one measuring tape, and one pair of scissors. Step one. Lockdown. Before you can take an accurate sample of the amount of radon in the air of your apartment, you'll need to close all of the exterior doors and windows for at least 12 hours prior to testing. Step two, in the zone. Find a good place in which to conduct your test. This test zone should be where you spend a lot of your time, any room other than the kitchen or a bathroom. You'll also need to find an area about 20 inches above the floor. Step three, test kit. Once you've found your spot, open up your kit, if you can. This is where your scissors will come in handy. Typical kits include two test vials, an information card, and a prepaid envelope in which to send your test vials to a lab for analysis. Step four, product placement. Take the test vials and place both of them about six inches apart Remove the caps from each of your test vials. Step five, hurry up and wait. For the next two days, there's nothing you can do but bide your time. Leave the vials undisturbed for at least 48 hours, but not more than 96 hours or four days. You can live as you normally do, but don't move the vials or open any windows. Avoid opening the door as much as possible. Step six, cap it. When enough time has passed to collect your sample, simply replace the caps back onto the vials. Put them in the box provided by the manufacturer and seal it up for mailing. Fill out the information card and if your particular kit requires payment, include that as well. Step seven, mail away. As soon as you can, deliver your sample to the post office so it can be sent to a lab for analysis. Your radon test results will be mailed to you within a couple of weeks. Step eight, read the results. Interpreting the results of your radon test may be confusing, but don't be intimidated by the terminology. The most important thing you'll need to know is that the amount of radon in the air is measured in picocuries per liter of air. You can call the National Safety Council's radon hotline, 800-SOS-RADON. That's 800-767-7236 for help. The average indoor radon level is about 1.3 picocuries per liters of air. Most experts believe any level of radon is unsafe, but if your test results come back as four picocuries per liter or higher, you should get another kit and redo the test to make sure your results were accurate. Step nine, get radon active. If the results from your second test come back showing that you have a level of four picocuries or higher, the government recommends you take action and have your home fixed. Installing a special vent pipe system and fan is recommended by the EPA. For information on radon or for help either finding a professional to test your apartment or to reduce your building's level of it, consult the Environmental Protection Agency's website, www.epa.gov forward slash radon. This should give you all the information you and your loved ones need for a healthier apartment. Done.